think of Italy and words just start to appear. Buonissimo. Auguri. Signorina. Burrata. Ciao ragazzi. The melody of the Italian language always brings a smile to my face. But sometimes I need a little more. I admit I live off my memories of past travels, but in a hopeful, not nostalgic way, dreaming of my next Italian escape. And in order to plan it, I turn to books. So today I decided to share with you three books to inspire or make you dream of La Dolce Vita. If Edith Wharton needed no introduction as a novelist, her travel essays were a surprise for me. I picked this up in a French bookshop, so I read it in translation, but I have a feeling I didn't lose too much from the original. Italian Backgrounds is a collection of descriptive essays from Wharton's Travels in Italy, published in 1905. The poetry of her observations the endless hills and countryside she paints with such elegant words. Construct an intimate travel journal that instantly transports you. From the Swiss border through Piemonte and Lombardia, Umbria, Toscana or Emilia-Romagna, her rhythm becomes your own and her attention to detail transforms your view of traveling. And since La Dolce Vita must honor the pleasures of life, I'll make a classic drink, Bellini cocktail. Venice, 1948. Giuseppe Cipriani, owner of Harry's Bar, creates the Bellini in honor of Venetian painter Giovanni Bellini. One third peach puree, two thirds prosecco. A small miracle. Elegant, simple, deliciously tempting, and terribly Italian. Salute! Kamin Mohammadi's memoir may sound familiar. The story of a successful, yet burned out, working woman in the big city that took off to reconnect with her spirit in Tuscany. But once you start reading, you instantly feel this book was not written in order to become a romantic comedy. This is a real woman's journey to finding joy in everyday life and ultimately in her career as well. The concept of Bella Figura is at the center of her reflection, and it transforms the narrative into lessons learned. I think that for me, besides the charming Italian vibes, the most valuable idea was that of welcoming lives in our most beautiful, glamorous, sparkling form. And if we make this effort, life will repay us by becoming worthy 
of our shining light. How is this going to happen, you ask? Well, for instance, I think life has rewarded me for my smile today by creating this extraordinary combination of flavors that is prosciutto crudo e melone. The sweet aroma of melon is a gift in itself. But who would have thought that introducing it to salty, nine months cured meat would make for such an explosion of taste. This, for me, is the definition of a match made in heaven and the perfect bite of Italy. And speaking of food, my last book recommendation revolves around the Italian table. Tracy Lawson studied the village of Campo di Mele, high in the Italian mountains. People here have attracted the interest of scientists from around the world because they live extraordinarily long and active lives. Lawson structured her book following the seasons, since this seems to be one of the keys to living a balanced life. Observations on locals and their daily routines, together with more than a hundred recipes for every occasion. A Year in the Village of Eternity is an intimate portrait of this unique and unforgettable place. Inspiration guaranteed. I hope this will give you some ideas to start exploring the Italian lifestyle even before getting on a plane to Rome. And please share your Italian book recommendations in the comments below. I'm always up for a little imaginary trip. Until next time, enjoy your reading and your rituals.